like what you're saying doesn't make no sense first of all you have no pictures of your belly zero pictures of your fucking belly you have no ultrasound you have no birth certificate you have nothing and this is supposed to be your kid you do the things them that i like oh What's up, it's Irene family. As you guys know, it is me for me, and that's on purr. As you guys can see, I'm clearly not home. I'm in a hotel room, so I gotta improvise. You know, I don't got my ring line, got nothing, so I gotta freestyle this video. So bear with me. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you have been here and a part of the Irene family, like you already know how we do it, gang, you already know how we do it. Thank you so much for always supporting me. If you have not already, be sure to hit that subscription button, that like, and be sure to comment, period, purr. And also, also, so, be sure to tag me in anything you post so I can repost you guys. You guys know TikTok is going lovely. As you guys can see, we're half, we're more than halfway to the 500 mark. So, 500. Let's start that over. We're more than halfway through the road to 1K, guys. So, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I appreciate those who have already subscribed and been a subscriber and are loyal and have them post notification bells turned like my look you know i and listen oh you see it naturally don't worry i'm not bald I, it's, it's strong yeah i got i, I got i got i got it i, I got here good i was supposed to get my hair done yesterday as you guys know in the earlier video that i said i was getting my hair done on thursday but um unfortunately my hair stylist had to cancel on me i was really bummed out about it because i hate my natural hair but it's okay i'm rocking it today tomorrow and I'm talking my hair done. That's on her. Comment down below if you like my natural hair guys. Let me know how you feel about it. Um, these are just, honestly, I just took out my braids and I never like combed it out. Nothing. It's that had a lot of product in it. It just shrunk up because of the shower and the steam. I like to take hot, steamy, yeah, steamy. <laughs> I like to take hot showers, so that's why it shrunk up. But it is what it is. I'm rocking it. Do my content. Make sure you guys follow my TikTok. I just had a video go viral. It's at like 200 and something K for um views and i gained like two thousand almost three thousand followers from that one video yo this man really telling me oh 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 come they got in my stomach oh they got in my stomach so i am climbing the charts guys little by little i am really taken to become a social media influencer and a content creator which i already am very very serious so again guys i appreciate love and support we ain't doing no blitz test today because blitz is popping. I was doing some videos as I stated, but it's okay. As you know, blitz is always to the left of me, like a hitter. So a lot of people, you know, been really getting into it with my story times and that's on purr. Why do I keep saying that? Why do I keep saying that? I don't know why I keep saying purr, purr, purr. <laughs> Anyways, so let's do a quick story time real quick. Quick, quick, quick story time real quick. How do people fake a fucking pregnancy? Like, what do y'all gain out of lying about being pregnant? And then, the, you know what kills me the most? Okay, like, don't get me wrong. I feel like, okay, people have been in when you're younger. So tell, tell somebody you're pregnant or case be, you know, because you don't want that man to leave. Like, when we were young and dumb and thought a baby would keep a nigga <laughs> negative. We had to learn the child's relation on our own. But what kills me the most, what kills me the most is this. You not only lied about your pregnancy, you lied about having a kid. You kept the lie going until after the kid and then just ghosted motherfuckers like, bitch. Kill me now, Lord. Kill me now. Kill me now, Lord. Just kill me now. What is the generation getting to? Okay. Oh, well, remember in the last time I said I was going to name her C. We're going to actually name her CC. I like CC a lot better. It's just, it sounds more, you know, whatever. Well, CC really, really, really grew an obsession with let's call him angel she really grew in touch with angel i don't know what possessed her in her rightful mind to think that a baby gonna keep a nigga like girl you're an adult now you didn't learn that from like high school that that old ass trick don't like do you not see today's generation did you not see the baby did you not see what the baby did uh, a baby is not keeping no man in 2021 damn trying to keep it in 22 23 24 and beyond to infinity like a baby is not gonna keep a man a man gonna do what a man wants to do and that's on everything the girl said she was pregnant girl cc could not provide a ultrasound an appointment none of the above but angel's so fucking uh just so stupid just so slow didn't even think to even question the bitch like do you not think that's odd? If you telling me I got you pregnant, if you telling me you having my kid, I can't even see an ultrasound. 
And in CC defense, CC's make it seem like, oh, you know, she didn't want to give him an ultrasound because he basically was fucking on her. He was cheating on her. He was telling her a story, whatever. And I'm not going to cap, Angel was. Angel was in them streets. Angel was in them sheets. Angel was in them draws. And she ain't like that. So she used her pregnancy as a way to hurt him because she knew that's the only thing that he truly cared about. Anyways, let's fast forward now. Shorty has said her due date was November, which is this month. Don't forget that. First of all, she gave two different she gave two different due dates. All right, whatever. So she said due date was this month in November. Bitch ended up having the baby in August. Then going to say the baby premature. But before we get to that, right? I guess CC had invited Angel to an appointment and um ghosted him. Never picked him up. This was this was a gender appointment too. Allegedly, never picked him up. Never nothing. She just just ghosted didn't return a text a call started cussing out the mother all the other shit first of all if you pregnant right high risk pregnancy how the fuck are you flying international after you told me because she told me personally that your doctor done told you you are not allowed to travel and you still traveled out of the country like do you give a fuck about that baby oh i forgot you wasn't really pregnant <laughs> anyway she took the trip wasn't supposed to go didn't even fucking tell the nigga until the day of she was leaving like just was being mad slice shit or whatever like trying to be funny let's get into it when it came to having this baby all of a sudden she did y'all see that i did y'all see that let me know don't get me started. I will bless this whole room. I will bless this in the name of Jesus. Don't get me started. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is not of God, return to center and ooh. Okay, amen. So CC was telling you she didn't feel good, how she knows she couldn't eat nothing, did she had COVID, allegedly. I'm like, then go to the hospital. If you pregnant, you're not feeling your son move the way he's supposed to move. If you notice things are off, go to the hospital. Like, I mean, is that not a common sense thing to do? So this girl never went. Sissy didn't go. She went two days later. She did FaceTime me in the hospital. I can give that. I remember her. She did FaceTime me in the hospital. The next thing I know, the next day she posting the baby. You went through labor by yourself. Didn't allow no one to know your... your alleged son was born you just posted a picture then you call me every day it didn't even tell me of all people and you call me every day to cry about something stupid but you uh, to cry whatever angel whatever case might be not mention you had your own niggas and things you're doing on the side but and teaser this girl was never my friend we were acquainted so i just thought it was funny and i called her i even confronted her out i'm going to go in my phone i'm going to find the screenshots of where i even called her out because i Let's not forget, I'm in school currently to become a psych therapist. Do you think I'm not going to study you and remember what you said and take mental notes? Is you stupid? So I confronted her. I'm like, so you had a baby, didn't say anything to nobody, you didn't eat, you didn't think to tell nobody anything. Then I'll start the screenshot somewhere on the screen. You're going to say, basically the bitch ignore me, right? She's going to tell me that she was, um, the day after having a kid, the day after you had a kid who you have COVID and he got COVID, you're home. What hospital discharges somebody after a kid after one day and y'all both have COVID? Cece did not know that her location on Snapchat was on. So I I said, I said, how are you telling me you're at the hospital, which is 20 minutes from your home, and I'm bluntly looking at you being home? Can I tell you that Cece literally did not open my message until like six hours later, left me on red and turned off her location expeditely? Who the fuck are you? Like, who are you fooling? Who are you trying to fool is what I don't understand. It made zero fucking sense. So I said, okay. I kept it, you know, I'm like, all right, whatever. I was watching her for a little bit. Sent me pictures. I, look, I can't even, I don't even want to post a picture because it is somebody's kid. It's somebody's kid. And I don't want to put nobody's kid on the internet like that. Because if it was my kid on the internet, oh, baby, baby, baby. we're going to swear, but I'm going to whoop that ass. Moving along, moving along, moving along, moving along. I see the picture. I'm like, this is like a Google image picture. And I just called her out because I, the baby came home within five days. How? If you have a COVID, po test, a a po tested positive COVID baby, how is the hospital discharging in five days? And how are the hospital letting you go back and forth? You first you there one day, then you go back home. How are you able to go in and out and y'all both have COVID? Who are you fooling? Who are you trying to fool? Like, do I look like boo boo the fool? 
do i look i i i gotta have a dick on my head i gotta have something on my forehead that say i am stupid or something because who are you trying to, it, it just logically made zero sense like comment down below if you following the story because i know for a fact i'm not tweaking just look Ugh. so i started messaging i'm like i just find it funny i just called her out. i can't remember what i said word for word i'm gonna stutter in the screen the screenshot somewhere up here but i know i said something i basically call her out like what you're saying doesn't make no sense first of all you have no pictures of your belly zero pictures of your fucking belly you have no ultrasound you have no birth certificate you have nothing and this is supposed to be your kid then you tell social media you had a kid first before you even tell the alleged father before angel even knew i knew before angel knew and that's supposed to be your baby father where do the fuck do they do that at like which planet on which planet are you on because it clearly ain't earth it clearly ain't the u.s because maybe you need a i ooh. she didn't deny anything she just wanted to basically you know say she don't have to owe she don't own nobody's estimation like basically just being around the bush she didn't want to act if i'm calling out saying that you clear and that's what i said this is what made me call her. i'm like listen I know people who know your family and nobody knows that you're pregnant. Everything you post on social media, nobody can see besides a select few. So if you had a baby, how, like nobody, what? Come to find out, come to find out the baby is so happened to be her brother. Her dad got someone who's addicted to drugs, pregnant, and her dad went to jail. So since the mother is a current addict, they decide they had a, like an agreement behind closed doors for her to take care of the baby. And then the baby got here. The baby was born premature early from the mother and was in the hospital for two months. So they brought the baby home when the baby was able to come home. That's a mistake. I'm like, how the baby one pound and in five days coming home? Don't you know the baby has to be five pounds to pass a car seat test? And a premature baby is not even drinking an ounce of milk a day. They're drinking legit droplets. They don't even eat that much. You think, and they they, they gain a pound, you know, in between a couple days to a week. So in one week, your premature baby gained five pounds ready to go home. Who are you fooling? These motherfucking heifers just make me sick sometimes. They don't make no damn sense. So comment down below if I, like, if you are just as so confused as I was. I called her out in a situation like, girl, I know you're lying. And it's funny how Angel asked for DNA tests and all of us, like, you, you, oh, why he want one now? Why he care now? Blah, blah, blah. You don't want to give it to him because you know it's going to be coming. You are not the father. And she had to dip on you. Don't, don't, don't. It's just pitiful. Just piss me off. Then it's like, what did you get out of that? Left in somebody in distress? But at the same time, Michael, like, Angel has done a lot of things. You know, maybe some days say, be careful what you do, because you're going to reap what you sow and what goes around comes around. I don't got nothing to say about that. If you guys have not already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell while you at it. Be sure to repost any part of the videos that you like that I do, any of my story time, any video I do, anything I post on social media, so you can get a chance of getting a shout out and also being posted from me. Oh, I've got tongue tied words I cannot talk to the fast. I'm trying to slow down, but it's so hard. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. We're on the road to 1K. Much love, much on your left. And everybody, enjoy your Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> Bye, guys. You do the things that I like. Oh, oh, oh. Come wine for me, cocky till you feel better. Yeah, you are champion, buddy.